morning and assalamu alaikum to all our esteemed followers. Welcome to another edition of our weekly peace talk show. This is the show that is brought to you to discuss on issues surrounding our national peace and security. Uh, the edition with presidential candidates is finished and for this week and for the whole month of October, we will actually be interacting with civil society organizations to discuss on a very important topic. But before going further, I have some bright and some great and some hard working civil society organization you know representatives who are here today to actually you know discuss on a very important topic and before going further Mr. Barra and Mr. Njai you welcome to the Peace Talk show and Mr. Barra mm -hmm. you can say hello to our esteemed followers thank you so much and thanks for having me Alison um, Good morning, uh, viewers out there, and good morning, uh, Mr. Joy and Alassane. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a pleasure of being here today. Like he said, I am Lamin Bibara, uh, the Executive Director of Peace Gambia. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much, Executive Director of Peace Gambia. <laughs> we are glad and humbled to have you here today. And the father figure of all <laughs> CSOs in the country. Well, uh, you're making me uh, <laughs> sound very old and look old. Uh, but thank you uh, so much for having me mm -hmm. on this show. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure to always uh, be able to share our thoughts with, uh, with the Gambian people. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's good to be here. Thank you very much. He is uh, Chairman John Charles Njai, or Mr. John Charles Njai, the Chairman of Tango. So uh, we are happy to be here, and to be frank enough, it is not a missed opportunity. This actually is going to be well utilized in order to have a very productive and a very fruitful discussion. So today, uh, our topic of discussion is role of civil society organizations in promoting peaceful elections. Uh, coming to Mr. Barra. Mr. Barra, uh, Gambia is approaching election, and you know, as civil society organization, you have those lenses which are different from other people, like ordinary people in the society. Mm -hmm. So what is your analysis to the current political atmosphere in the country? Thank you so much, mm -hmm. uh, Alassane. Mm -hmm. um, based on my analysis, mm -hmm. uh, the reason I'm doing what I'm doing right now, mm -hmm. in fact, the reason I accepted to come here to talk to people mm -hmm. is because um, I am not convinced mm -hmm. um, our political situation in this country mm -hmm. currently is mm -hmm. very, very terrible. Mm -hmm. um, people are not loving each other. Mm -hmm. People are hating each other because of political differences. Mm -hmm. I've seen examples of such mm -hmm. people even fighting, mm -hmm. which is very bad. Mm -hmm. You know, politics came to us mm -hmm. For, so that we can elect, mm -hmm. we can vote. Mm -hmm. And the reason we call it voting is because mm -hmm. we want truth, we want justice, mm -hmm. we want peace, mm -hmm. so that you know, we can all vote. Mm -hmm. You will not even know who vote for who. Mm -hmm. you, know, you go secretly and vote. Mm -hmm. People will not even know that you vote for this particular person if you don't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. So to me, that is peace, that is harmony. Mm -hmm. But we are seeing each other public enemies mm -hmm. because of our, public, uh, our, our political differences, mm -hmm. which is not telling well. Mm -hmm. People defame each other, mm -hmm. character assassination, mm -hmm. insulting one another. Mm -hmm. You know, these are early signs mm -hmm. that we are ignoring, mm -hmm. but can lead to something very bad for the Gambia. Can lead to something very bad. I will come to that, and we will ex actually look at that one, you know, substantially. Uh, but coming to Mr. Charles, Mr. Charles, you know, uh, when you talk about Tango, Tango is a whole institution, and all the civil society organizations in the country today actually pay their allegiance to Tango. And I am sure uh, at Tango level also, you must actually have your analysis and evaluations. What is your analysis and evaluation to the current political atmosphere, which others say is very disturbing? Okay, um, let me begin by uh, where you started about uh, the role of civil society mm -hmm. um, in uh, ensuring peaceful elections. Mm -hmm. the, I, I give the analogy that civil society in the whole electoral process mm -hmm. is like the fourth match official mm. in okay. a football match. Okay. You have the IEC mm. as the main referee. Mm. But if anything happens to the main referee, mm. then the fourth official comes mm. in. Mm. The fourth official can be also there mm. to deal with issues mm. on the touch lines and things mm. like that. Mm. And that's the role we play mm. as civil society. Mm. And Tango being an umbrella body of... It, it, Tango is basically an umbrella body of NGOs. Mm. Okay. Come 2017, we, we thought 
that it was important to embrace the wider civil society body. Mm. And that's why um, we have other civil society organizations that we associate with. Mm. They don't normally or really pay allegiance to Tango. Okay, okay. And that's why you see there are people that do whatever they want to okay, do. Okay. Sometimes they blame it on civil society, which we take mm. responsibility for. Mm. But what Tango, um, we are not waiting to just analyze. Mm -hmm. There has been a lot of <clears throat> proactivity from civil society generally mm -hmm. in the country. And mm -hmm. I must take this time to salute the young people in uh, the Gambia. Okay, yeah, very well. Young orga youth organizations are doing a phenomenal job. Exactly. Whether it is um, sensitization, it is whether um, even the registration process, mm -hmm. yeah. getting young people to register. Mm -hmm. Today we have majority mm -hmm. of registered voters being young people. Mm -hmm. We have um, radio mm -hmm. programs mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. There are town halls going on mm -hmm. in the regions. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of sensitization mm -hmm. that civil society is engaged in. Mm -hmm. So no matter what we see mm -hmm. and how gloomy it looks, mm -hmm. There has been a lot of work on the ground, mm -hmm. and that, I believe, is part of our contribution mm -hmm. towards peaceful elections. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot that um, we could talk about, mm -hmm. the radio programs that mm -hmm. are ongoing. Mm -hmm. We have done engagements with even the traditional communicators mm -hmm. at grassroots level, mm -hmm. talking about peace building, social mm -hmm. cohesion, just so that mm -hmm. our people will know, mm -hmm. like my brother rightly said, mm -hmm. elections is not our fighting. Mm -hmm. There is life after elections. Mm -hmm. There is life after December 4th. Mm -hmm. And that is what we as a people need to be, begin to look at mm -hmm. rather than who is supporting which mm -hmm. political party. Mm -hmm. And let me be quick to say, mm -hmm. let's not be carried away by people saying, I am with this party or I am with that party. Mm -hmm. It's secret ballot. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And if I was a political leader, I'll be very weary mm -hmm. of the so-called support, I'm with you. <laughs> you know? I mean, I, I can share an experience. Um, 2016 or 2017, mm -hmm. when we were doing, or is it 2018, mm -hmm. local government elections, we went to observe mm -hmm. in Banjul, mm -hmm. and it was nomination day. Mm -hmm. One candidate had gone in, and the people were following with their T-shirts and everything. Mm -hmm. And then the candidate came out, mm -hmm. went this way, and another candidate was coming with his supporters mm -hmm. and all that. People were moving from candidate A, mm. removing the T-shirts. <laughs> and we are saying, Mane, can you put the T-shirt for it? <laughs> so that is the people for you. Yeah, yeah. So the crowds that people are now making noise that mm. I have a bigger crowd. Mm. It's only December 4th, mm -hmm. 5th, that we will know who really won. Mm -hmm. So the crowds for me, and don't mind people, because, you know, economically the country is hard. Mm. There are people that take these opportunities to make money. Mm -hmm. So I can go to you, if I know you will give me $50, it's $100 for transport, transportation, I can come to you. Mm -hmm. If you are, if another party is giving, I will go and wear their t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Nobody is going to tell me why am I moving from place to place. Mm -hmm. that, that, that is wonderful. Uh, hello viewers, you are actually watching us live online at Father Network. We have uh, Mr. John Charles Njai, the chairman of Tango, and Lamin B. Barra. He is the executive director of Peace Gambia. We are discussing on role of civil society organizations in promoting peaceful elections. Uh, Mr. Barra, mm -hmm. uh, coming to you, uh, as you stated, elections go and come. And, you know, if we have election-related violence, how is this going to disturb the Gambia? Very bad. It's going to disturb us. You know, we have a brief uh, experience about that in mm -hmm. 2016. We are mm -hmm. all aware of it. Mm -hmm. You know, there was no violence, mm -hmm. but there, there was a threat mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. And because of the threat, mm -hmm. Many people have to flee the country. Mm -hmm. yeah. Many people have to flee their households, mm -hmm. which lead them to lose their mm -hmm. properties, which lead them to lose huge amount of money. Mm -hmm. um, at that moment, mm -hmm. um, the transport fare mm -hmm. from, from, from Banjul to Basse mm -hmm. used to be for, uh, 200, 250, mm -hmm. three, there are about 300. Mm -hmm. But when that, during that impractical impasse, when people were only going to Basse, nobody was coming back, mm -hmm. the <laughs> transport have a race to $1,000 each. Seriously. Wow. $1,000 each. <laughs> so we, we, we test it. So we should be aware of it. We all know how the, mm. the, the consequences of it. So but we should be very it careful. It seems like people are not hearing. It seems like the politicians are not hearing. Peace Gambia, Peace Hope, Tango, you know, people individually, collectively mm. are standing day and night to preach and advocate for peace. Mm -hmm. But still now, you know, sometimes the very people you speak to, those are the very people who you will see in different platforms, you know, advocating for something that, you know, could put you, you know, on crush. That's why uh, um, I, will say, I will say this here. Mm. You know, I don't like political parties in the Gambia. Mm. 
Why? You hardly, you hardly uh, uh, um, see the, the leaders, mm. political leaders, mm. engaging in, 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 in peace activities, mm. preaching peace to their people to be peaceful. Mm -hmm. um, there was an incident, there was an event uh, organized by Peace Hub, mm. the Gambia. I was invited there. Mm. It was uh, just a signing, in, a signing of a peace treaty. Mm. Like, they call on political parties mm. to be present there to sign a peace treaty that they, are, they, they will promise there will be no violence in the, you know, in, 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 in the election, during the election, after election, and uh, before the election. Mm. But only three political parties were present, of all of them. And they, they, they sent letters to all of them. You know, that is a gesture. Mm. You know, if they, ha if they were present, that, you know, that is going to send a very good message to people. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they were not there. Mm -hmm. So that, 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 that made me believe that, you know, they are only in for votes. Mm -hmm. Vote for me. Mm -hmm. All right, let me win no matter what. Mm -hmm. They don't care what their followers say. Mm -hmm. They don't care what, what their followers do to each other or their opponents. You know, most of the things that, that happen today, all the insults, they are not even close to leaders. There are people out there mm -hmm. in WhatsApp groups, on Facebook, insulting one another. Mm -hmm. And they are aware of it. The leaders are aware of it. Mm -hmm. They need to be condemning those people. The leaders are aware of it. In fact, if the leaders don't speak, I think we have an institution that's supposed to speak. Mm -hmm. And how do you address that? Well, um, we've done a lot uh, in trying to address some of these issues. Mm -hmm. But let me also say mm -hmm. that if there is innate selfishness mm -hmm. in a leader mm -hmm. to follow their agenda at all costs, mm -hmm. it makes life difficult. Difficult. Mm -hmm. It is also going to be left to the people. Mm -hmm. I, history uh, is a good teacher. Mm -hmm. I went to the regions some time back talking to, you know, women, youth, youth and, you know, the um, stake, all stakeholders mm -hmm. in the different regions. Mm -hmm. And I recalled um, telling them about uh, 2006, I think. Mm -hmm. Is it 2006 or 2001 elections? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Ahmad Ba um, said something that he would be at State House mm -hmm. the day after the elections. Mm -hmm. um, or oh, is it 2001, I think? Mm -hmm. That he would be at State House drinking coffee mm -hmm. the day after elections. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people were saying, hey, is Ahmad Ba going to win? How, you know, how sure is he that he's going to win? Mm -hmm. He lost mm -hmm. and lost miserably. Mm -hmm. But the next day he was at State House. <laughs> And whether he invited himself or he called and said, look, I want to come there. And then he went to State House and was drinking coffee and said to the people, you know, I told you I'm going to drink coffee. <laughs> so I, 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 I took that and told, you know, the people I was talking to mm -hmm. that so what would have happened mm -hmm. to the supporters of Ahmad Ba mm -hmm. in that time mm -hmm. if they had fought mm -hmm. For Ahmad Ba, exactly. you know, shed blood and done all this thing mm -hmm. for this guy, mm -hmm. only for the guy the day after elections mm -hmm. to be drinking coffee with your mm -hmm. So you make a mockery of the people. Mm -hmm. And let me be quick to say, mm -hmm. sometimes I think we have a problem as human beings, mm -hmm. and this is not only an African problem. Mm -hmm. You see it, I mean, in the U.S. and all that, mm -hmm. that people can be so loyal to their leaders mm -hmm. that they can do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, so. What is it? Is it worth it for you to kill yourself, fight, uh, lose friendships, lose relationships for a political party leader that at the end of the day doesn't even know you, doesn't even maybe even care about your interests? Mm -hmm. So we the people, beyond the leaders, we the people must also be smart enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will go and cast my vote, but why would I go and be standing under the sun for somebody and be sick? They will not pay my medical mm -hmm. bill. You run all the way from Brikama to Banjul, mm -hmm. and then you have to think about transporting yourself mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. to Brikama. Mm -hmm. Where is the leader? Maybe he's at home mm -hmm. enjoying himself. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I think we, we as people, mm -hmm. we are the problem to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because if you are not there to be hailing these people, mm -hmm. then they will not, you know. And sometimes, I, for me, I take it, take it that it's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. When you need me, mm -hmm. You come and be doing all, all everything. Yeah. Then when I need you, I invite you. You are nowhere yeah, to be no, found. No. For me, it doesn't show integrity. Yeah. And I have a way of dealing with, yeah, with, with, people, with people like that. The people like that. Still now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Njai, uh, I will look at Tango very well. Because, you know, as you said, Tango is the fourth referee. And in this game, you know, others are holding it as life and death. And Tango also should not relent in because Tango has the credibility mm -hmm. and you know what are you doing in case when politicians or political party leaders you know misbehave how do you bring them back 
Well, let's not wait for them to misbehave. Mm -hmm. Let's try to keep them in check, in check. as we go. Mm -hmm. So that um, one I know international idea is working on having a code of conduct mm -hmm. for um, the aspirants, mm -hmm. not the parties, mm -hmm. but the presidential aspirants mm -hmm. to sign and to accept mm -hmm. that they would go and abide by the mm -hmm. rules, mm -hmm. they would accept the results, mm -hmm. and we are also helping to, to, to see that, to, to, to bring that to fruition. Mm -hmm. um, because what that does is to commit these people mm -hmm that when they lose, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean you cannot challenge, mm -hmm. but you will go through the legal means. Mm -hmm. Because there is a way that political, politi politicians get bitter, mm -hmm. and then their masses rise up mm -hmm. and you know, render the country ungovernable. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. There is law. Mm -hmm. So we keep advocating for these things. Mm -hmm. Recently, we, we were um, called by the Ministry of Interior mm -hmm. to bring uh, political party leaders mm -hmm. or political parties together with the security services. Mm -hmm to talk about security for the elections, mm -hmm. to have a assurance from the police and the security mm -hmm. services mm -hmm. that they will have protection. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that we could do mm -hmm. to um, instill confidence mm -hmm. of the political players mm -hmm. and the public mm -hmm. in the system and in the process. And mm -hmm. that's why every time I tell people, I am hopeful mm -hmm. that we will um, go through a peaceful election. Mm -hmm. Elections come with tensions. Mm -hmm. And we must not despise that. We mm. must not run away from that reality. Mm. But beyond the tensions, mm. let's keep talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Let's try to get the political party leaders to talk to each other, mm -hmm. to be civil in the way they, they, they approach things. And these are all the things that we are doing as civil society mm -hmm. to help this process to bring dialogue mm. and to s let us see Gambia mm. beyond everything. Beyond, to see Gambia beyond everything. I hosted some political party leaders here or some aspirants, presidential aspirants. And what they told me is that some of them are saying that they actually have a bot to the IEC. Some are saying that they have a bot to the media, state media. Some are saying that the environment is not secure for them. And as a civil society organization, which is an independent and a very neutral referee, how are you trying to ensure that these barriers are broken to ensure that the ground is leveled? I, I, I gave the analysis and the analogy that we are the fourth official. Mm. The fourth official supports mm. the central referee, mm. that is the IEC. Mm. I believe, um, yes, the IEC may have its challenges, mm. but you know, unlike other countries, mm. I don't think anybody can point to our IEC and say, uh, to say they are for one party or the other. Mm. They, they managed an election in the most difficult, under a dictatorship, mm. and gave results against the dictator. Mm -hmm. So I think an institution like that, mm. the institution mm. like that must be respected for what they do. Mm. That does not mean that they don't have their um, resource, um, how do you call it, their, their resource constraints, mm -hmm. whether it's human resources, financial resources, and all that. Mm. So we must support them. Mm -hmm. It's too early in the day to be skeptical of what they do. Mm. Let's give them support. And that's what we as civil society mm. offer. Mm. And that is why we are going to also be having observers, mm. domestic observers. Mm. I believe this year we will have more civil society observers than any time in the history of the country. Because I am anticipating that we will have over a thousand uh, youth and other organizations that are observing the elections. Mm. And if we can cover every polling station, mm -hmm. Then as the fourth official, mm. we will be in a position to mm. be able to also add our voice mm. to whatever the, is, the outcome of the elections are. You will add your voice. <laughs> Let me come to Peace Gambia. Peace Gambia, mm -hmm. uh, what activities are you doing to ensure that you know, this election you know, is a peaceful election? Thank you so much for that question. Mm -hmm. um, Peace Gambia, we, we, we have so many talented people among us. Mm -hmm. uh, we have writers, mm -hmm. we have poets, we mm -hmm. have actors. Mm -hmm. So we use the media, mm -hmm. you know, because it is the same media that we see some of so many hate speech and threats to each mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. on the media. Mm -hmm. So the same media, mm -hmm. we use it positively. Mm -hmm. Recently we, we produced a video mm -hmm. uh, in all the local languages in the country, most, 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 of, most of them. Mm -hmm. you know, um, what we said in the video was uh, the people, uh, mm -hmm. we, are, we are talking to the people, mm -hmm. okay? The Mandinka will speak, the Wolof will speak, uh, the Jola, the Sarahule, the Serere, the Aku, mm -hmm. they, they, they speak to the people, mm -hmm. you know? Um, the message was, mm -hmm. election comes and go, mm -hmm. but the peace that we share, the relationship that we share, the family bond that we share will remain, will mm -hmm. never go. Mm -hmm. 
election is here mm -hmm. for us to be united, mm -hmm. not to be divided. Mm -hmm. Let us not fight. Mm -hmm. We all drink this, the same type of water in the, in the Gambia, mm -hmm. the same type of clothes we wear. Mm -hmm. We go to school together, we eat together, we intermarry, we go to schools, hospitals. And uh, if you are a Mandinka, know that, you know, the, 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 the nurse that you go for, the go to when you, when you feel ill, mm -hmm. could be a jola. Mm -hmm. The, the, the class teacher of your kid may, may be a manjako. Mm -hmm. The next shopkeeper that you go to every morning to eat breakfast from may be a fuller. Mm -hmm. So if we hate each other, then we can kill each other. Mm -hmm. It's very easy for us to kill each other. Mm -hmm. So we talk to people mm -hmm. in that video, in, in local languages. Mm -hmm. We send it viral on YouTube, or different, we send it to different groups mm -hmm. so that people can watch it. Mm -hmm. you know, to preach to them that yes, this is our country. Mm -hmm. This is what we have. Mm -hmm. Let us not destroy it. Mm -hmm. If we burn the house, it is the same house that we are inside. The generation that come before us passed the Gambia to us. Now it is our responsibility to keep that Gambia safe and pass it on to the next generation safely. And beyond that also, we are currently working on another video again. That, is, that talks about the same thing. Before the election in December, we are going to drop that video also. That's what we do. And uh, we also organize peace conference in schools. We have peace clubs across the country. We have peace clubs in different schools. So we talk to kids. We, we have uh, teacher coordinators that, that coordinate uh, the, those uh, peace clubs to talk to kids. Because you know, um, right now we are talking to them. Do, they, are, they are young. Most of them don't even have water scan. Them, yeah. mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So let them not be allowed to be used. Mm -hmm. yeah. They are the people most of the time that will go out and throw stones on the streets. Mm -hmm. They are either victims or perpetrators when such things happen. Mm -hmm. uh, we are talking to them so that they can be calm. They don't even have a photo scan. Let them remain home. Let them watch TVs. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's what they, they, they should be doing at this moment. They should not be allowed themselves to be used mm -hmm. by a politician because they have a great future ahead. Mm -hmm. They should not be allowed to... Uh, they, should not be allow, they should not allow their future to be you know, squandered at this young age. Mm -hmm. So we are speaking to them. That, that is wonderful, Mr. Barra. You know, as you are speaking, I become so emotional. Uh, it was Mahatma Gandhi who said that there is no way to peace. Peace is the only peace way. Peace is the only way. Mm -hmm. In the sun. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you know, this UNESCO has also said that since violence starts from the mind, then we must start inculcating peace into mm -hmm. our minds and psychologies. Exactly. And actually, you know, you actually are doing good. Yeah, sure. that, that is wonderful. And that is commendable. Mr. J Mr. Jai. Uh, civil society organizations sometimes, you know, government, you know, political parties will say they have no hope. Like Tango, let me give an example. Mm -hmm. Tango, some civil society organizations may say, okay, we don't have any hope on Tango because some of the officials of Tango mm -hmm. actually are not doing their work independently. They mm -hmm. are biased. Mm -hmm. How are you trying to make sure that this is handled in order to ensure that the good name of Tango in line with the purpose of which it is established is safeguarded and guaranteed all right um one of the things let me be clear mm. that any uh, individual that mm. calls themselves a civil society worker mm. a civil society actor activist or whatever mm. a civil society organization mm. first and foremost you must be a political mm. you must be non-partisan mm. uh, when it comes to supporting a particular political party mm -hmm. you must not have any alliance mm -hmm. or allegiance mm -hmm. to any party mm -hmm. that is going to affect your work mm -hmm. your professionalism mm -hmm. i and one of the things that gambia also needs to be careful about mm -hmm. it's not everybody that gets up and says i am civil society that is civil society mm -hmm. in, in in some in some countries mm -hmm. in um, sierra leone i have learned one time that even political parties were setting up NGOs mm -hmm. and obviously you will know where the allegiance is. Mm -hmm. Here I don't think we have that yet mm -hmm. but if we have that I will be the first to call them out mm -hmm. because that is wrong. Mm -hmm. And one of the other things is that people must also look at leadership. Mm -hmm. You talk about civil society, talk about also the leadership of civil society. Mm -hmm. If I am told that any member of my board Mm -hmm. is partisan, mm -hmm. has made utterances that are partisan. Mm -hmm. I will descend on them. Mm -hmm. Because my principle as chairman and maybe a leader in civil society mm -hmm. is that I don't support any political party. Mm -hmm. And one of the and that for me is good in the sense that today mm -hmm. no political party in this country can point a finger mm -hmm. and say John Jai has a membership card. John Jai supports my party. Mm -hmm. Because any of them that goes out of line, I will call them out. Mm -hmm. And that's how I choose to operate. Mm -hmm. And I believe that also is replicated to a, in a lot of civil society um, leaders too. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, let me be quick also to tell you that 
You know, politicians are very funny people. Yeah. <laughs> if today I speak against a particular party... Exactly. I was coming to that even. If today I speak against a political party, that party will say, mm. I am pro this party. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Mm. I try to engage a lot with the government. Mm. Because whether we like it or not, it is us that are government. Mm -hmm. If I remove myself from the what is happening in government mm. and not be on the table mm. to add my voice, mm. to give my values and push the agenda of the people, mm. then I am cancelled out. Mm -hmm. So I cannot be, be an opposition to government. Mm -hmm. I must be able to engage mm. with government. Mm. And that is why the Ministry of Interior had confidence. Mm to call us to facilitate mm -hmm. a meeting between the security services and the political parties. Mm -hmm. And all an answered. Mm -hmm. And all of them were saying this is, a, this is the first time in the history of Gambia oh. that the police are saying that they are going to give protection to every presidential aspirant mm -hmm. across the board. Mm -hmm. You know, and even to political party offices. Mm -hmm. That has never been. That so if I am now saying that I don't want to talk to Ministry of Interior, mm -hmm. hey, they are bad, they mm -hmm. are doing this, then I will not be called. Mm -hmm. I will not be positioned to do that. Mm -hmm. But so let's be careful mm -hmm. that we don't we don't allow these politicians. Let them tell us mm -hmm. who in civil society, mm -hmm. let them call us out. Mm -hmm. That, okay, I saw John Jai uh, has a membership in this party or that party. Mm -hmm. Then I would call my people to order. Mm. But it to, to, because somebody speaks against you, mm. you say they are against you. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, that's Sometimes, you know, that's what I always see on the media. When, <laughs> you know, people write, or civil society organizations, you know, make their comments, you know, they actually try to associate them to a particular political party, which actually is disturbing. I believe that the truth should be told, and once you are, you know, yeah. not on the track, and once, you know, you are rectified by somebody, I think you admit it. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Barra, yeah. uh, what responsibilities actually uh, do you think an institution is supposed to play to ensure that you know, our election is actually smooth and peaceful? Institutions like... Uh, institutions like IEC, you know, uh, police, you know, different institutions. Uh, um, thank you so much uh, mm. for, for, for that. Mm. Um, I think the, 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 the bottom line here is to be, to be, to be truthful. Mm. You know, to be tr truthful... Like uh, Mr. Mr. Njai said, mm. you know, uh, the, 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 the interior called him because he's trustworthy, mm. because of his ethics, because of the, the, the things that he chose to do, mm. because of the, his independency. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason we call it Independent Electoral Commission is because they should be independent. Mm -hmm. There should be no, even a single mistake is not accepted. Yeah. They, should, they should do that. Mm. Okay. Mm. So... It lies on them. So they need to make sure they, 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 they uh, conduct a free, transparent, and a fair election. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the, the peace mm -hmm. or the outcome, the violence that could happen mm -hmm. on, uh, during elections or even after elections, also, they also have a role to play. Mm -hmm. So they need to be very unbiased. Mm -hmm. They need to be straightforward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is on them. Mm -hmm. and, and other institutions like media houses mm -hmm. also have a very, role, a very key role to play. Mm -hmm. Media houses need to make sure that they don't promote hate speech. Mm -hmm. If anybody goes to their platform to, to, to talk rubbish about other, other political parties, mm -hmm. let them not accept it. Mm -hmm. let, them not, let, them, let, let that be against every conduct because mm -hmm. people out there are listening to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the moment it hit the airways, everybody will share it. Mm -hmm. The moment, uh, because we have special people in the country yeah. here that do that. <laughs> yeah. you know, their only role is to share hate speech. <laughs> you will share something very good on, on social media. People hardly comment or share it. Yeah. But say something bad about somebody. Mm -hmm. Character assassination. Mm -hmm. You will see everybody will be sharing on their status mm -hmm. on everywhere. Mm -hmm. So which is very bad. Mm -hmm. So we need media houses to also help us in that area. Because as, as CO, uh, CSOs, we are also doing our, our, our role. Youths are, are playing their role. Mm -hmm. But we need media houses. Mm -hmm. you know, we need our voice to be heard. Mm -hmm. And the media houses can help in that, like you are doing. Mm -hmm. Calling people here to talk to the public, mm -hmm. which is very important. Mm -hmm. So you keep it up, mm -hmm. and media houses, uh, I will encourage them to, to be doing so, uh, only that. Mm -hmm. uh, encourage the, the spread of uh, the, message, the message of peace mm -hmm. and non-violence. Mm -hmm. That's what is going to help the country. We are very, we are very poor country. We cannot afford violence. Violence is very expensive. Yeah. I, I will come to you. Violence is expensive. As you say this, you know, I imagine how you know young people in Sierra Leone. If I watch the documentaries, exactly. you know, how hands have been chopped. Mm -hmm. You know, some of those people today are at my age or somehow older than me, but they have no hands or limbs. Mm -hmm. It's too sad. 
I can't just imagine how I will be if I don't have my hand or my leg. Mm -hmm. you understand? So it's too sad. Violence is too dangerous and war is so brutal. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you doubt me, watch this uh, Somalians, how they are feeling right now. Yeah. Over 500,000 Somalians were born or moved out of their country to go and live in Kenya. Mm -hmm. All as a result of what? Violence. Some of them were born there. And to leave your country to go and live in another land, that is a story of its own. Mm -hmm. The best person who can say that is we have several in the Gambia here. Let's ask them. It's very sad. It is very sad. Mr. Jao, yeah. uh, disinformation and misinformation, I want to add my voice and my, uh, uh, my, 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 my weight on that. Mm -hmm. you know, it is something that is being you know, uh, advocated on social media. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've seen some fact sheets being spread, you know, mm -hmm. viral, you know. But this is a platform where also that I also ensure that you know the issue of this disinformation and misinformation mm -hmm. is actually looked at very well because it can be a recipe for violence. Yeah. You yeah. know, at tango level, how actually are you helping to deal with this? Well, I, I believe um, first and foremost is to be able to engage with the journalists. Mm -hmm. um, I, I went to a conference recently in Ghana on mm. this issue of misinformation, disinformation, mm. and the importance of fact-checking. Mm. But I'm also happy to say that a lot is being done now to mm. train journalists on fact-checking. Mm -hmm. um, and um, civil society also needs to push mm -hmm. that agenda mm -hmm. that we must fact-check. Mm -hmm. We must not allow ourselves to be moved by any and all kinds of information. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, but I think the bottom line also is that the intention mm -hmm. Because people intentionally give you the wrong information mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to, pro to uh, promote their agenda. Mm -hmm. So we, as um, and, and beyond civil society, the Gambian people, mm -hmm. there is nothing wrong mm -hmm. with hearing something and calling mm -hmm. one or two people, is this true? Mm -hmm. Before you even share it. Mm -hmm. So we must bring sensitization in these areas mm -hmm. and um, allow people mm -hmm. also... To, to, to be able to take responsibility mm -hmm. for what you hear. Mm -hmm. Take responsibility for what you share. Mm -hmm. Because I, I know you keep saying civil society tango, but I, I want to move beyond civil society, beyond mm -hmm. tango, mm -hmm. to us, the Gambian people. Exactly. I, I have a culture. Mm -hmm. Anything I hear, mm -hmm. if it is legal, mm -hmm. I call, I have lawyer friends. Mm -hmm. I call. Mm -hmm. I call the president of the Bar Association. Mm -hmm. I call the chairman of the Human Rights. What do you think about this? What's the legality of this? Mm -hmm. Before I even say anything about it, mm -hmm. I ask some. Uh, um, if it is somebody in government, I will call. Mm -hmm. If it is somebody in the IEC, I will call mm -hmm. because I have the numbers. Mm -hmm. You know, I would not just get up and you know. Sometimes even in civil society, something happens and they say, "Ah, chairman, have you had this?" I say, "Take your time," mm -hmm. because. Maybe I have information mm. that you don't have. Mm. And in leadership, you must be able to possess your soul mm -hmm. so that you are, I mean, moving your people in the right direction. Mm -hmm. But our problem is we are too quick mm. to send out, like he said, mm. the evil information, mm -hmm. the negative information, the bad news, mm -hmm. without even doing due diligence to check. Mm -hmm. Is it right? Oh, they said, Alassane said this. Hey, Alassane, how much Ni, 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 ni. And you spread <laughs> Why not just call Alassane? Mm. Alassane, is it true? Mm. My brother, I'm disappointed if you said this. Mm -hmm. And then he will tell you, oh, no, that's not how I meant it. Mm -hmm. Or it's not even true. Mm -hmm. And then you kill it there. Mm -hmm. But why do we, why are we so eager mm -hmm. to character assassinate, to mm -hmm. destroy ourselves, this small country? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, and you know, this is why maybe I don't know whether dictatorship has affected oh, us to a point that psychologically. yeah psychologically that we are so angry with ourselves <laughs> that you know i am so i am more happy to spread bad news about you mm -hmm. than to celebrate you when you do good mm -hmm. and that is the basis why um, misinformation disinformation thrives mm -hmm. because people are not taking time mm -hmm. to find out whether this is true or not mm -hmm. if we do that everybody then these things will not go anywhere mm -hmm. And that is very true. Uh, as Mr. Barra said, you know, it's like, you know, a lot of good messages are circulating on the social media. Yeah. But, you know, you rarely see those ones, you know, shared, you know, fire. But once, you know, something is blown out of proportion, sometimes, you know, you see that one, you know, times without numbers, you know, being mm -hmm. surfacing on the social media. Mm -hmm. So it's rather uh, unfortunate that uh, we should try to embrace good messages. You know, 
it has been said it. it's a popular adage that you know it is the intention of others to share messages that are actually unworthy mm -hmm. but it is also mandatory on other good people to see, counter those on godly or on good messages mm -hmm. so that you know the ground can be level mm -hmm. so we cannot afford to sit down and say okay i will only share messages that you know that mm -hmm. actually are you know evil intended sometimes i can sit here based on pressure i can say something which i do not mean mm -hmm. but guess what i have recorded over 100 videos here someone may never have even watched one of those videos mm -hmm. you understand so this is the situation with people you know, start. people could be out there, they could have said 1,000 things, you know, yeah. start. Yeah. or 99 things, mm -hmm. but the one thing, mm -hmm. oh, my brothers, it becomes so sad that people will even forget about all the bunch Good. of goodies yeah. that you have done. Yeah. And that can take us, no one is an infallible. Mm -hmm. We are here to make mistakes. The thing is, when we make mistakes, let's admit the mistakes. Yeah. And to move forward as a society. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we are urging people to be supportive. Tango is doing great. Peace Gambia is doing great. Other civil society organizations are doing great. Let's embrace them. This is the Gambia we have. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Gambia cannot move forward without the support of Gambians. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the language of our constitution. When you go to section 2 of the 1997 constitution, it says the sovereignty of the, Gambia, uh, sovereignty of the country or the sovereignty of the Gambia is driven from the people. Mm -hmm. Who are the people? We. Yeah. So the government officials, all what they are doing, they are doing it for the best interest of the people. But what the government officials are doing will be redundant if the people are not supportive. Mm -hmm. So we are urging people that Gambia is our homeland. Mm -hmm. And that is the language of the national anthem. Mm -hmm. Mr. Barra, yeah. sometimes, you know, we have to speak in a very emotional time so that, you know, we can, you know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But nonetheless, you actually have done great and time is not on our side. As I told you, it's going to be 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you are sitting on the platform, you know, you are interacting with people who actually have wealth of knowledge, you know, <laughs> 10 minutes becomes like 10 seconds. And that's exactly what happened here. So, Mr. Barra, uh, you are here. Mm -hmm. The media is here and the world is here. Mm -hmm. uh, send a message of peace and love to the Gambians. That is going to be cut and will be shared to you. I'm sure you will have another additional message mm -hmm. that will be shared to you okay. that has to go viral. Because this is the country we have. We have to stand day and night to ensure that our country does mm -hmm. not experience anything that will you know, jeopardize our dignity. So the media is here. You are here. You are the voice of Peace Gambia. You are the representative or the ambassador of Peace Gambia. So talk to the Gambian people, Mr. Peace Gambia. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Alassane. And you know, um, I will thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming here to this platform uh, is, is a great thing for me. Mm -hmm. And it's a great thing for Peace Gambia. Mm -hmm. um, we always want our voice to be heard. Mm -hmm. We are always looking for a means to talk to people. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not that much strong financially mm -hmm. to go house to house and talk to people all across the country, mm. but that is our intention. Mm -hmm. uh, hence, we cannot do that. Mm. We use the media because mm -hmm. many people are in the media mm. and we believe when we speak to them, uh, they are going to listen. Mm. The message is always clear mm -hmm. and the message is always the same. Mm. This is the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Our Gambia is our Gambia. Mm -hmm. Anything that we do bad to the Gambia, mm -hmm. it is us that are living in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. What did we do when there is fire in our houses? Mm -hmm. We run out of the house mm -hmm. because fire is going to burn us. Mm -hmm. So how dare us sit in our own house, set a fire and sit under it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is going to be a calamity for all of us. Mm -hmm. So the message from Peace Gambia is always that mm -hmm. we are in the election year mm -hmm. and uh, we are going to the polls to vote. Mm -hmm. We all know all the tensions that the election comes with. Mm -hmm. So we out there mm -hmm. should not be carried by those words mm -hmm. and don't do the necessary thing like mm -hmm. mr njai said mm -hmm. there is always going to be talks talks tense tensions between political parties mm -hmm. but we the youths out there mm -hmm. have a very important role to play that mm -hmm. is to be preaching peace mm -hmm. let's have good conduct mm -hmm. let's let's be peaceful ourselves mm -hmm. it starts within ourselves mm -hmm. let's be peaceful mm -hmm. then try to preach peace to people out there mm -hmm. It is going to be a very tense month for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. 
but I believe we are going to pass through it peacefully mm -hmm. because we are not relenting. I am mm -hmm. not relenting. Justice, you are not relenting. Mm -hmm. Mr. Nja is not relenting. There are many out there that are not relaxing. Every day they are talking to people to mm -hmm. make sure that we maintain peace in our country. Mm -hmm. The message is clear. Mm -hmm. Try not to be the devil. Mm -hmm. be, that, be your brother's keeper mm -hmm. and be your sister's keeper. Mm -hmm. You always make sure that mm -hmm. whatever it takes, mm -hmm. then there, there will be, if there is going to be a violence, mm -hmm. let me not, uh, I should not be part of it. Mm -hmm. And let me be the one to talk to people mm -hmm. not to do the violence. Mm -hmm. In Gambia, mm -hmm. like I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. we go to school together. Mm -hmm. There is no school that you go to, mm -hmm. you will see a Mandika classroom, a Jola classroom, Fula class. We are all mixed up. Mm -hmm. We are not judged based on our tribe. Mm -hmm. The same thing goes with institutions, hospitals. Mm -hmm. It's not as this is Jola Ward, this is Wall of Ward. No. You may be a Jola mm -hmm. and somebody is conducting surgery on you that you, you had the person speaking Wall of. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the Gambia. Mm -hmm. That's the Gambia we have. Mm -hmm. see, the Gambia one says something very important that is peace is a natural resource that Gambia have, mm -hmm. that God gives to Gambia. Mm -hmm. If you check on our national anthem, mm -hmm. that all may live in unity, mm -hmm. freedom and peace each day. Mm -hmm. There is peace. If you go to our national flag, mm -hmm. there is peace. Mm -hmm. We say the white there stand for peace and unity. Mm -hmm. If you go to our, our national pledge, mm -hmm. the same thing. Mm -hmm. People need to know that yes, this is Gambia. Mm -hmm. It is peace that we have, mm -hmm. that we need to work towards and make sure that we make it a violent free Gambia. Thank you very much to make it a violent free Gambia. Violent free Gambia is for our good. I do hear people say that ni election Abedulale. Please, I cannot do it all aside. Try by all means you pour cold water on it throughout. Because na do that, it's in the baby wula langadasu wula. And nung wula ufana ya fanzung tarik wala zoro. Mr. Njai <laughs> Mr. Njai, uh, you are here, the Gambian people are here. You are the face of uh, non-governmental organizations and also civil society organizations. Today, you are a fourth referee in this game that is coming. A lot is expected from you. I am sure if it is even other countries, you will be going with your uh, maybe two odd lists, but I do not know whether you have them here today. <laughs> Understand? Because uh, actually you are also somebody who has a very significant role to play. And uh, your message is supposed to go across the board to address all the areas that has loopholes or that may have loopholes or that will have loopholes. From the institutions to the people, to political parties, and to, you know, you can name them, you know them better, civil society organizations. Your message will be caught and we share it to you and then it go, let it go viral that, you know, we have a lot of, you know, unnecessary, you know, uh, uh, audios or messages going over which are causing disinformation, misinformation, and causing hatred, you know, and chaos. Mm -hmm. But this message will also go to counter those ones to indicate to the people that there are a lot of good messages out there. So those ones are worthy to be listened to. The media is here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let me remove my glasses and look into the camera. Thank you very much, um, Thank you. Uh, my brother, for the good work you're doing and the peace uh, program that the Fatu Network is doing. Mm -hmm. um, we appreciate it and mm -hmm. we, we are supportive of it. Mm -hmm. Fellow Gambians, this is our country. Mm -hmm. This is the only country we have. Mm -hmm. If we destroy it, mm -hmm. we destroy ourselves. Mm -hmm. Let us come together. Mm -hmm. Beyond elections, we have a nation to build. Mm -hmm. Let us be instruments of peace. Mm -hmm. Let us be our brother's keepers. Mm -hmm. In spite of our diversity, mm -hmm. we are united mm -hmm. under one umbrella, mm -hmm. the umbrella of Gambia. Mm -hmm. Let us allow peace to flow through our country mm -hmm. like our peaceful river, mm -hmm. the river Gambia. Mm -hmm. If peace continues to flow mm -hmm. in our land, mm -hmm. we will, under the banner of peace, mm -hmm walk together, build together, be educated together, play together, mm -hmm. and live in harmony mm -hmm. together. This is the only country 
we have. Mm -hmm. So let us be channels and instruments of peace mm -hmm. and carry the message of peace throughout this year into next year. Elections or not, we have a nation to build. So please don't be a channel mm -hmm. of chaos, of violence, be an instrument of peace. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are humbled and it was never a miss opportunity or we never regret to host chairman of Tango and you know the executive director of Peace Gambia to join us live online here to discuss on role of civil society organizations in promoting peaceful election. We all heard what they say. We have a nation to build in post election. Elections go and come. You know, I used to tell this to my grandma. I will tell her, how were you people living during the days of Jawara? She will tell me you are a small kid. I will tell her, but I have actually, you know, grown up now. So what actually I mean by that is that when you look at 1960s, 1970s, Jawara, the PPP, the NCP, the other political parties that were established, they were doing things as if one may say that, you know, they may never, you know, you know, be relaxed or removed or will never be off the stage of politics. But today we are ready. Mm -hmm. yeah, today we are ready. So election is not a moment of life and death, you know, games. Elections is a moment of setting the stage and fixing the country by giving a good leadership to somebody who can take your country to another level. So we are urging all Gambians that there cannot be any better message spread than the message that they have said here. They have said it all. And the message is eloquent, the message is clear, the message is explicit. We are urging people that do not subscribe to elections of violence, do not subscribe to elections of hate, do not subscribe to elections of, you know, partisanism, politics, or do not subscribe to election, uh, uh, election of tribalism, let's see the Gambia. I am very, very impressed with young people, as he said. We are doing great. Others are saying, my tribe is Gambia. Let's come out and support our institutions and these young people. You cannot say you are advocating for the youths and the youths are on the front line doing something that can put this country on the right track and you don't come to support them. Let's support Peace Gambia. Let's support Peace Hope. Let's support all the peace institutions that we have in this country. Let's listen and embrace Tango. With the leadership that they have and with the work that they are doing, I'm sure we will have a better Gambia. Mm -hmm. But if we sit in our various corners, making the situation so deplorable, we are the very people who are going to face the burden. So we thank you very much for coming. Uh, if you have any concluding remarks, you know, you can share with the people. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Like I said in the beginning, mm -hmm. I would like to thank you so much mm -hmm. and thank Fabio Network. Mm -hmm. And thank you too again. You mm -hmm. have been doing wonders. Mm -hmm. um, with people like you, there will be violent free Gambia. Because with this peace talk so you are bringing different people here mm -hmm. to talk to the public. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is very important. That's what we should be doing always. We use the media to promote peace, not violence. Mm -hmm. That is very important. Mm -hmm. Like Mr. Njai said, we have a nation to build. Mm -hmm. And we cannot build the Gambia if we are on each other's throat, mm -hmm. if we are throwing stones at each other. Mm -hmm. We cannot build the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Like I said in the beginning, violence is expensive. And Gambia is a very poor country. You know, we receive our salaries and eat them and finish them before the, uh, before the, before, before, before the month even have 10 days. Mm -hmm. So how do we sustain violence? Mm -hmm. We cannot. Mm. So if we want to build the Gambia, we should make sure that we stay away from violence because war is going to affect us. If there was war in the Gambia, mm. we would have born with one hand or two hands, or without, we would not even have been born. Mm. Maybe we will, we will die while in our mother's womb. Mm. But our elders make sure that we are, we are born into a very peaceful country. Mm. Now it is us that to make sure that we don't born our kids. We don't into, born our kids. Time is into, going. Into, <laughs> Into a country that is <laughs> violent. Yeah. Well, just to say, uh, Gambians, uh, let's be instruments of peace. Mm. Let us uh, sustain what we have. Peace has worked well, well for us. Mm. 
let's not try and play with what we don't know, which is war. Mm -hmm. Let's keep our peace. Let's be instruments of peace. Mm -hmm. Let's be our brother's keepers. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, we are grateful to your coming. And we actually hope to have more civil society organizations here in the coming weeks. We actually are saying thank you to our esteemed followers. And do not relent. Keep on following. And once you get the messages, keep on sharing because these messages has to dominate the environment and the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And we are saying thank you to our technicians, the Fire Network. They are doing great, and you know, they are very hardworking. One of the most hardworking, you know. And we actually are grateful. And thank you very much. This is your host, Allah Sana Justice Jalo. <laughs>